carpet. And this is how to draw an old school rose and banner. Enjoy. Old school rose with a banner. So it's going to be a nice traditional kind of style. This is going to be done on the iPad Pro, on Procreate. You can do this on any medium you want. You know, you just copy what I do on there using traditional tools. So if you look on layers, we're going to have four different layers. So we've got color, shading, sketching, line work. And the line work set to reference. Uh, the top layer just says background stuff that I've got. And I've got it set to multiply, so it just makes it look like tan paper. So to start with, we're going to use sketching. Then we're going to do line work, then shading, then color. So to sketch, I'm going to use a sketching tool, using a technical pencil, using a dark red. So this is on the sketching layer. I'm going to sketch in a circle, another circle, a bit wider at the bottom, a bit short at the top. A little curved line just coming down through it. And then that center circle. We're going to come off the edge here, we're going to curve up, up and around, create a little loop, and a little loop coming around. So an S curve, and then these two loops coming around it. Off the other side, similar thing, we're going to curve around, loop, loop. And on the inside, we're going to create this spiral, come down, curve outwards, curve outwards. Then just off the edge, just neat those two lines up there, so curve this ledge around here, and curve this edge coming around, tucking under here. Make sure this line is further outwards than this line. You see? If this line is further outwards, it makes no sense. So you want it to be tucked inside it. Now on the outside, I'm just going to do one circle, two circle, three circle. Now where you got that line thinner, at the top, you want these bits to be a bit smaller, so a bit more behind it. And these ones to be wider, so a bit more in front. And I'm going to have five. So five in total on the outside. And then come off the edge, I'm going to do these long curve shape. And then curve back again. Do another one next to it there. One at the top, two at the top. And one, two, three on this side. And then cutting across here, I'm going to do this bend. So we're going to cut big across this way. And bend under. So this is going to sort of tuck underneath the rows. Now follow that curve, come back around, curve upwards, curve around, and curve outwards. And now where that line comes down the bottom, I'm just going to widen this up a little touch. I'm going to create this teardrop shape at the bottom. So big curve, come to a point. Back up here, create some little thorns just coming off of it, like so. And maybe add like a leaf or two just at the bottom. So it looks a bit messy in a minute, so now we're going to go everything we've just done on the line work layer. So I'm going to select black, inking, I've adjusted my studio pen, I basically want it to be nice and bold so it comes out like straight lines, you know, very traditional. So we're going to go about this kind of thickness, and we're going to go over everything we've just done. So I'm going to zoom in and take a seat. So we're going to come around here. Create that curve, create that spiral. I'm gonna get this banner because I want this banner to be in front. Then I want these petals going behind it, so when I get to the banner, I'm going to stop and not do no more. I'm going to create a little bit of a wavy edge on the um, petals. So rather than doing a perfect circle, you can do a perfect circle if you want. I just like to make them a little bit wavy. Just makes it a bit kind of classic old school. And again, just going over these leaf lines, just on the outside. So you've got those two, these ones, I'm going to do a line coming through the middle I think, I'll do like a cool two tone effect on them. Now we're doing it on the Procreate, you just want to make sure your line work always comes up to the black, because when we get to the next stage we're going to do like this selection, and if you've got any little gaps it will just auto select kind of outside 
and uh, just select everything. You'll see what I mean in a minute, it just makes things awkward, so yeah. Just make sure all your edges kind of touch. Just makes your life a lot easier. Like so. No. All right. Cool. And that's your line work done. So we're now going to turn off the sketching layer. So we've got just the lining left. And with the lining set to reference now, when we select this one up here, now you see the top left hand corner? I've selected that third one across. And I'm going to select automatic. Now what this is going to do, when I select it, you see this highlight in blue? It's going to always select just that area. So when we colour in now, it's going to colour just that area. So I'm just going to select a couple of ones here, just there and there to begin with. And we're going to do shading. So make sure you've got, make sure you've got your shading layer selected. I'm just going to use airbrush for now. So we've got airbrush with black for this. So I'm going to start in this corner. Just get a bit of a black fade out. So very sharp, very harsh. Just do that in each one of these petals. So one there, one a bit there. And just a little bit here. So just underneath the bottom part of each one of those. Now I'm just going to select uh, just the right hand side of each one of those leaves. I'm just going to do a bit of shadow just from the top. And I'm going to select the other side and I'm just going to do a shadow from the bottom. Like so. Just gonna select there and there. Again, just a little bit of black, just on these inside parts, just here. I'm gonna select that stem. A little bit of black at the top, a little bit of black just at the bottom. So just like a nice fade out, you know. Let's like say if you're doing it in pen, pencil, paints, exact same concept. Just do a bit of black, just fading out. Oops.